Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time we were making our way through the command deck, we had found the access card to shuttle control. We have yet to find the access card to the bridge, which is our next destination. Uh, I apologize for the abrupt end of the last video, it's just... It actually was a pretty good stopping point since we had just finished clearing the officer's quarters and... There was a knock at the door, so I decided to end. Anyway, let's pick back up. Now, there is an, ass there is an assault droid around the corner. He's making his way over here, trying to get after me. As you can see. Alright. Well, we've, we've reached a spot where we can manipulate him, so... I hate these things. I hate them very much. He's done, thank goodness. Nothing on his body. You see two worm piles there. Up before we What the hell? Alright, it just spawned an assassin in behind me. Lovely. Before we continue toward the escape pods, let's search this little side area. And let's deal with that assassin. Get back here. Douchebag. Alright. Now with that taken care of, we can search this area. So, we'll start here on the middle level. When we search the body, she's got an, a game pig and two maintenance tools. We'll recycle the maintenance tools. This level also features the regeneration unit. Let's turn that on. These look like two different areas, so let's go all the way down this ladder first. I believe what we find out here are analyt eggs. There's a swarm. Wait for it to die. There it goes. And let's search the egg that came out of. Nothing. Here's the tech upgrade station. If we head back here, that egg is empty. Looks like they're all grub eggs. I'd rather not get hit by some grub. There we go. Alright, front egg empty. Left egg empty. Right egg is empty. Behind all the eggs on the corpse, we find 37 nanites and 3 EMP grenades, which I will recycle. Let's head back up this ladder now. Let's head down here and check out the outside. There's nothing at water level. 
if you head up the pipes, you can get onto this little ledge and then get back here where there's a wrench and much more important, six cyber modules. Brings me up to 48. When I get back to the Psy upgrade station, I'll be able to buy quite a few powers. Well, by quite a few, I mean two at the moment, but that's the dream, right? Alright, let's continue toward the escape pods now. This corpse has nothing. This corpse has 25 nanites. That's something. Head over this little bridge. Escape pods to the left and right, but first, a spider. Easily handled. He's got an arachnid organ, but we've already researched that. I hear an assassin. Omega, we're out of time. Get into the pod. Come here, dude. You're killing me. Alright, we bagged the assassin. So let's just start at the far end and then make our way back. Launch sequence engaged. I guess that must be Tommy and Rebecca. Nice to know they escaped. Kinda douchey to leave me behind, but so it goes. We've got a wrench, a bridge access card, a maintenance tool, a pack of cigarettes, a bottle of vodka, and a bag of chips all on the ground. Inside the trash can, nothing. So let's recycle those four junk type items. Let's search this trash can, nothing. Down here, next to a deployed escape pod, there's nothing. Next escape pod is deployed and got nothing, including inside the trash can. Let's head down again. On this corpse, we have 31 nanites, another deployed escape pod, a French Epstein device, which you might remember is a free weapon modification, unrecyclable, so useless to me, nothing in the trash can, but behind this bench there are seven cyber modules, which brings me up to 55 total. Over here, we have six anti-personnel shotgun shells on the ground, and an empty, broken shotgun, which we can recycle. Down here is the weapon upgrade unit. Now here's a broken bridge, but before we loop back around, you'll notice a container of nanites down there on the ground. I would like to pull that to us and take it. We can. Got it. A whopping 50 nanites in there, that's a lot. Now let's see if we can make this jump. most of the way down. Oh no. Alright, well we can't wrench the turret, but then I'll need to have cryokinesis ready to go for the finishing touch. So. Let's get to that if we can. Alright, let's try and flee all the way down the hall. Take it out with one well placed cryo. I said that so confidently. Alright, one more. Or two. Just avoid that shot. But it's pretty precise. But missed that shot, which is got it. Good. All right. First, let's search the destroyed turret. Nothing. Let's search this corpse. Nothing. And what you might notice is that we've made a full loop back to the bridge elevator. But what we haven't done 
is explore the third level. So let's do that before we leave. Another laser turret here. Which I hope to destroy just as smoothly as that last one. Maybe, be maybe even better. Got that one. Nothing. This appears to be the CEO's quarters. Well, let's search through this broken window. We find a magazine. The corpse has nothing. The second corpse has six anti-personnel shotgun shells. On the ground is a bottle of vodka. Let's recycle all of that before we do anything else. And all right, let's check Anatoly's replicator. Hi there. Please make your selection. Bottle of vodka for 12, Psy Hypo for 120, anti-personnel shotgun shells 144, rifled slugs 128. No thank you on all counts. Search the end room first. Nothing in the shower or the rest of the bathroom. Just a multi-picture. Heavy combat armor on the ground. Inside the locker, 57 nanites and a large beaker. Up here, we have a bag of chips, if I can convince my man to pick him up, and a bottle of juice. Recycle both of those. Hold on to the beaker until I see another worm pile. In here, we have a magazine and an audio log. Karenchkin, July 12th, 2114, regarding the Machine Mother. The Machine Mother has enlisted two avatars against us. They stab us, but they will fail against our unity. Does not the Machine Mother know her own creation is greater than she? She is cold and empty, and we are warm and full. She seeks only to destroy. We seek to embrace, to include. All flesh will join us. Or be wiped clean. Anatoly has turned completely into a Psy Reaver. Lovely. We've got an assassin. He camped out here in the conference room. Let's take care of him. I beat him without getting hurt. under the table. No, nothing. I also see nothing on the table. So with a worm pile right here, we'll use that large beaker and recycle it. We have a med hypo, two magazines, bottle of champagne, two more bottles of champagne, and a pack of cigarettes. All fodder for the recycler. And on the desk we have an audio log. Diego, July 12th, 2114, regarding my responsibility. I am a soldier and a simple man. I cannot explain what has happened to me or this mission. I take complete responsibility. I brought danger to my ship, to my crew, to my honor. I cannot resist the changes that are happening to me. The call of the many is seductive. They got Karechkin, but that bastard is weak. I am not weak. I can resist this cancer. And if I cannot, I will remove it forcibly. God save the UNN. Good for you, Diego. Anyway, over here on the ground, you find a version 2 modification software. Which, at this point, is redundant for me. And that's it for up here, so let's head down back to the ground level. Let's pop our bridge access card in. Actually, before we do that, let's go buy a couple of powers. 
And since this surgical unit is incomplete... Let's pop the activation key on there. We'll... We'll continue leaving that spider alive, for now. So it doesn't... Purely to keep the game from respawning something that's more difficult to dodge. Actually, sorry to quick load like that. I just want to do one other thing before I head back, because I remembered something I'll need on the bridge. Your skill surprises me. Transmitting cybernetic modules. modules. I just wanted the extra 20 modules you get for using the bridge access. Brings my total up to 75. Now I'm gonna head back and purchase some powers. Leave the spider in the dust. Later, bro. here purely to access the Psy upgrade unit. I can afford three powers now, which is fantastic, because they're all very useful. Sounds like a protocol droid. Is a client there? Good heavens. Give me on, dude. There you go. Alright, let's hit the upgrade station. And I already discussed which powers I need. Let's buy Electron Suppression, which you may remember immobilizes robots. Let's buy Photonic Redirection, which makes me invisible until I fire a weapon. And this is the important one that I need on the bridge. Let's get remote circuitry manipulation so we can hack psionically. That leaves me with 12 modules and only one more fourth tier power to purchase. Might as well hit the recharging station on the way and head back toward the tram. Now we'll go explore the bridge. Again, no problem. Yoink. And now we'll head to the bridge. We'll go up that central elevator we've been dancing around for most of this deck. I'm gonna go ahead and arm electron suppression. Because I remember being greeted by two robots at the top of the elevator, which is never pleasant. Well, that was <laughs> now, overload happens very, very quickly with the fourth tier power, so. Now, I also want to get Adrenaline going, which should let me pretty easily take him all the way down. Ready for Cryo. Can you believe how much easier robots are now? It's blowing my mind, folks. 
Good night. Here's an assassin. Unfortunately, the assassins do not count as robots. I still have adrenaline going. Beautiful. Anyway, he has a portable battery, which I'll just recycle. Before I head around the corner. Now this is important. You see a turret over there. It's a rocket turret. Don't attack that turret. Spot it and hack it. Initial difficulty, 140%. Final difficulty, 80%. One ice node. Need a Psy Hypo. No, it's not really in your interest to waste Psy Hypos, so... To waste Psy at all. So... Going to fail the hack, just yeah, let's go ahead and use the side hypo since I'm gonna need it anyway. Anyway, just keep doing this until you successfully hack the turret. I know it's tedious, but trust me, it's necessary. The odds of getting three in a row for a one in five chance are pretty low. I'm no mathematician, but... Failed again. for the wait. the assassin to come over here and play with us, which is fine.
get adrenaline back. Deal with him. Hopefully not get... Process. This is tough, but Spider. We need to head all the way back to the very entrance to this level, the primary elevator shaft. Oh, can't reach it from 
here. Something has respawned between us and the Psy upgrade unit. It's a spider. These guys are no problem at all. Good night, douche. Come on. Come on. Juice up. Hey, a multi picture. I'm not sure I even noticed it. Anyway, let's get molecular transmutation, and we're done with fourth tier Psy. I have 19 modules left over. Fifth tier neural capacity will take 134. That's gonna be a while. So, as we arrive back at the primary elevator shaft, it, of course, can only take us to the recreation deck. Roll right out of here. Back through Deck 5 to the main elevator shaft. Down to Deck 4. Operations. And I'm gonna call this a video. We'll be ready for the third Command Deck segment, which actually involves a lot of backtracking to earlier decks, but we do eventually end up back on a new area of Command. So, this has been Let's play System Shock 2. We have the Ops Override access card. Next time, we'll see what Shodan wants us to do with it. Until then, again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.